Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, Chip Fish and I are gonna show you four DIY foraging trays. Now, I'm really excited about this. I love a DIY. I've got various other ones on my channel and I've got some coming up as well. Some more DIY toys ones and busy mats. So if you'd like more DIY content and you wanna see that, then make sure you've hit the notification bell down below, like and subscribe so you know exactly when it's going to come out. Foraging is so important for pet parrots in the wild. Parrots would typically spend about 70% of their day foraging so we need to find ways that we can replicate that in our homes with our sweet baby birds so i hope you enjoy these four diy foraging tray ideas so our first foraging tray option is a really nice cheap and easy one and this one is easy because it probably has stuff on there that you'll find around the house so the foraging tray itself is made with a paper plate um, when we're choosing paper plates we want to make sure that we are using paper plates that are just paper or cardboard no kind of plastic coating or anything like that. Just something nice and simple that can go in the recycling when you're finished. The uh, base of the foraging tray is filled with bits of cut up plain white paper. So again, nice and simple. Um, you can use craft paper, you can use paper as long as it's not dyed with anything kind of chemically. Anything typically found in like the children's craft section is gonna be perfectly safe to use as well as kind of plain white paper. Um, and then we've got some bits of cardboard as well. Again, cardboard, nice and easy, nice and cheap that we can offer our birds. This was just from a toy that the birds got bored with. So I took all the cardboard off and saved it so I could show you um, a nice foraging tray example here. Then we've got some paper straws. Again, you may not use paper straws, but they are nice and easy to access. Um, our guys love paper straws. We talk about them all the time. We fill them with treats. Um, so you can either do the treat filled straws or you can just have them as some fun forage. And then we've got some paper cupcake cases here. Again, when you're using paper cupcake cases, they do need to be paper, not glittery or kind of plastic lined or anything like that, just plain paper. Um, and then they could be a great foraging toy. As I've done this one here, it's kind of like a bowl, so you can put some treats in there, or you can kind of scrunch it up, or you can cut them into kind of paper puff balls like I've done in previous DIY videos. But this is just a nice, simple, easy foraging tray to get your birds started. Next up, we've got our classic foraging tray. Now we've had this foraging tray for absolutely ages. I think it's like a planter base, but you could use like platters or anything like that. Anything that is going to work for your foraging tray. Again, if you're using anything sort of plastic based, you wanna make sure you're supervising your birds. But we've never had any issues with birds kind of chewing the tray as such because they're so interested in all the fun that's going on here. So for the crinkle base, it's just plain crinkle paper. People always ask me what's safe and what isn't. This one is from Northern Parrots uh, by Superbird Creations, so that's perfectly safe. But the best time to get crinkle paper for your birds is around different kind of holidays and festive seasons in the children's craft aisle. Uh, you may have seen on my socials, I really stocked up at Easter with loads of crinkle and kind of shredded paper for the birds. You want to make sure it is just paper and not glittery or shiny or anything like that but if it is just paper and in the children's craft section it's going to be perfectly safe for your birds and then we've got lots of other fun things going on again we've got the paper straws there they are always um, a favorite here so i always like to try and include them where we can we've got this really cute little dice here um, with cork buttons that was from northern parrots on a toy but we've just taken it off as like a toy part um, we've got these little kind of palm leaf stars, these are all really cute. We've got lolly sticks, we've got rattan balls, more lolly sticks, and little toy parts as well, because you can really use toy parts to create foraging trays and make things really fun. You know, your bird can bash these all out of the way and have a great time looking for snacks. So I really like this one. And again, the colors are really appealing to birds because they have a great sense of color vision. Now, while I really like the colorful ones, I thought I'd make a natural looking one as well. And I really like the look of this one. I think this looks really fun. So I've got some um, plastic trays. These are just like kind of serving trays. I've got a pack of four on Amazon. Again, a lot of the things that I'm showing are also in my Amazon store, which will be linked below. So you can go and get some inspiration there. But these are really cute colors. Um, so I thought these would be fun for foraging trays. And then the base, we need to talk about the base because this is uh, Easy Chick. And as you guys know, I am a brand ambassador for Easy Chick. It's the substrate we use in the base of our cages and we absolutely love it. It's dust free, bacteria free and perfectly safe to use with your birds. The wood is recycled as well, so it's very sustainable and um, it's really changed our birds' lives. So why not use it in a foraging tray as well? It works really well, um, especially in this kind of natural setup, but you can make it nice and colorful as well by adding different toy parts if you want to. Easy Chick is currently only available in the UK, but I know that you guys want it in different parts of the world. So as I keep saying, make sure you're messaging them uh, every day to let them know that you would like to see it in your part of the world. 
because it is a fantastic substrate. We've been using it before. I was even a brand ambassador and we just absolutely love it. Um, so I thought, as I said, I would show you in this foraging tray today. And I think that it works really well. It's very, very pretty, especially in this natural setup. So on top of the Easy Chick, we've got these little toy parts here, again from Superbird Creations. We've got one here and one over here. They're just kind of, um, I don't know what you call them, sort of rattan or grassy bits. I think they're really cute and the cockatiels love those. We've also got a yucca chip. Pickles is favourite there. She loves her yucca chips and chewing those up. Then we've got a solar stick. Those are Olive's favourite. To be honest, all the birds love these. They're really easy to chew and they're, again, a nice natural material. Got a little mahogany pod there, a little corn puff uh, situation going on. And then the other cool thing as well that I've added on top are these kind of grasses. We've got like flax and uh, sorghum and I don't know what this one is, but another type of grass. This is the rosewood pick and fly. And again, it's just really fun for birds to kind of pick at and forage with, especially the cockatiels. It's also good for budgies, but to be honest, our conyers love them as well. So if you have a look, you can see all the lovely bits that they can pick off and have a great time foraging and enjoying um, natural grasses as well. Um, if you're looking for something in, for example, the US or I think Canada as well, um, you can get something similar from Biodiversity Bird Blends, uh, which is the company by Dr. Jason Crean. And he has like birdie um, bouquets and it has like all dried flowers and leaves and stuff like that. They are amazing as well. But I think these are available in Europe and the UK and um, just have a little look and see what you can find. But I really like this foraging tray. I think it is probably my favorite because it's so pretty. And the last foraging tray is something a little bit more complex and this is made out of an egg carton tray. Now you can get these from farm shops but I get mine on Amazon again so it's in my Amazon store. And the cool thing about this is it has these little grooves where the eggs would sit. So it's not just like a flat tray like most foraging trays. It has all these grooves so it makes it a little bit more complex to navigate and to forage in so that's a bit more fun as well if you have a very complex and competent forager and what i've decided to do here is include lots of broken toy parts because of course when we get toys for our birds they destroy them which is the whole point of them but you end up with all these lovely toy parts and i don't really like to throw them away so i like to add them into foraging toys to make them really fun so on this tray we've got like rattan balls we've got finger traps the straws again we love the straws uh, lots of the bits we've got loofah um we also got these little cupcake cases that i've uh, put some treats in and then um scrumpled up so again a very complex kind of foraging tray We've got the corn husk and lots of other bits and pieces. So you can get really creative with this. You can combine the ideas from all four of the foraging trays and put them together. But um, I really like this one. It's nice and colorful, but very complex and very good if you have a bird who is an expert forager. <laughs> Easy Chick as a substrate base either for your cages or foraging trays, then all the links are going to be down below for you to go and check them out. But in the meantime, from Fish and Chip, who are really tempted by the foraging trays over there, thanks for watching, take care, and see you later.